welcome to the re-edit minimal edition. Hello and welcome to my channel Project Witchcraft. Today's video was supposed to be a Mod Podge collage but I ran into some trouble with it and um, I, what I wanted to do wasn't actually going to work so I decided to do a fall decor video instead. So today I will be doing three projects. Um, you'll find out what they are later. They turned out pretty decent and I'm actually kind of happy that I did switch. And uh, yeah. <laughs> this right here is just a layout of the projects that I want to complete for this video. Um, so we have like a painting with some crafty stuff because I'm not a painter. We have a owl planter and then a stuffed gnome. Um, so I've, I've, I'm going through my sketchbook and uh, I've already started drawing some gnomes because I think they're adorable. And uh, yeah, I have some ideas sketched out and um, I pick one and then I am drawing it out on my canvas. This guy looks a little weird compared to my drawing. I don't know how I feel about him, but okay, we'll, we'll go with it. I really, really, really wanted a watercolor background. And instead of using the koi watercolors like I've done in past videos, I said before that I've had problems with them and that I get more of what I'm expecting out of like the watercolors in the tube. So that's what I'm using here. Except um, my reds did not come out as red, they came out as pink. But I'm like, eh, whatever, still looks good. Still fall-ish enough for me, so. So after completing this, I definitely say that it's, um, this is mostly looking how I, I want it and I'm expecting to get this out of these watercolors. So I think my problem is actually the Koi watercolors and that water brush. So I might be practicing different techniques with them in the future, but I think for now I'm going to for sure stick with the two watercolors. So I wanted his beard to be gray-ish. And um, since this is a fall project, I put in some scents like I did with um, the Create This Book 2 page. So I put a little bit of clove oil in with this grayish pink paint mixture. So I didn't know this at the time, but my brush is, I'm using the wrong brush. Um, for this video, I had to change the place where I videotape because I didn't want to wreck my drawing table. So I'm painting it on the table and I'm sitting it on the floor like I've done in past videos. And um, it's, it, I can't see it very well because I'm so low. But uh, I am trying, but I don't realize that it's the paintbrush, the wrong type of paintbrush I'm using. So quickly off camera, I pick up the painting and um, I use the right paintbrush and then I put it back. So now I'm mixing some brown for his, um, his gnome outfit. Um, with the brown, I mixed both pumpkin uh, scent and clove in it. And I know you can't see it, but I did do it. Needed his shoes and his mitten to be different than his gnomish outfit. So I mixed purple in with the brown and I paint those like a brownie purple. So for my gnome's hat, after many, many tests, this is the plaid that I picked. 
I knew that I couldn't draw or paint plaid because pff, could you imagine me doing that? Anyways, so I picked um, one from online and uh, I printed it out and uh, glued it so that he has a hat now. And this br the brown that I painted his gnome outfit in is just, I'm just not feeling it. It's a little too dark. So I'm mixing up some more brown paint and uh, I'm going to repaint his outfit and then add some highlights with some um, pencil crayons. And we're just adding in some fall leaves and some acorns. Hopefully hide some of the mistakes I made with them. And off camera, I actually added in some more leaves by his foot so that I hide even more mistakes. Dun, dun, dun. And I added a pom-pom to his hat and uh, like a pipe cleaner rim too. Okie okay, kadoki. next project, the owl paint planter. So I'm going over the planter in the gesso or gesso, I've heard it called both ways. Um, yeah, I'm going over it in that. So because it's supposed to make it easier for paint to adhere to it. And it already has a glossy surface, so I kind of feel like I need this on there. So I do like five coats of this, and then I move on to painting the owl. So we got some brown. This is the same brown that I used on the first coat of my gnome's brown gnomey outfit. Um, you know, the one that smells nice. And then I move on to some fall yellow colors, the mustardy, nasty little bit there, some orange, some pink. The pink is watercolor that I used, but I didn't realize that, so we'll be going over that later. And I fill in the rest of the colors off camera just because I needed to stick my hand in there, move it closer, tip it upside down, you know, all that jazz. Alright, so this is starting to look okay now, but uh, we're going to add some gold trimming. His eyebrows are going to be gold. We're going to do gold inside the feathers. Gold, 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 gold everywhere. Quick question. Do owls have eyebrows? Is that what you would call that? Is, are they? Uh, is that, I, don't, I don't know. These feathers took four ever this was like a long time and they didn't even do that great of a job like i mean it looks so good and everything but i probably could have went slower and did it better but uh i just sometimes i just don't have patience you know After I finish the feathers, I move on to the eyes, I fix them, you know, paint them white again, and get rid of that stuff from my brush. And then we're gonna paint the middle eye black, his nose black, uh, fix some spots. Ooh, and then we bring in the bronzy copperish for his feet, his tails, and his, um, eye color place thing touching up on the outside and then we bring in the Mod Podge which everybody knows is legit my best friend and uh, this time it's not matte Mod Podge that I'm using it's gloss and then after that we call the owl done Finally, we move on to the stuffed gnome. Um, he turns out pretty cute. Um, I didn't get much footage of this just because I had to keep picking it up, moving it off camera and everything, but uh, this is what I did catch. 
So for his outfit, I'm using my little guy's shirt. I chose to use his shirt because I wanted to keep the gnome as a keepsake and I thought this would be a good way to keep his shirt. So I am incorporating that into the project and then I'll always have his shirt and I won't have to like keep it in a box and put it where nobody else can see it. That foam circle is originally how big I wanted the base to be, but um, his shirt wasn't big enough to cover that. So I have to cut the base down. And it's a good thing I actually did cut it because I would not have had enough stuffing to fill this thing. I wanted to use hot glue because I was not touching a sewing machine or sewing this by hand. Sorry, but that's not gonna happen. Online, most people used like a wooden ball for um, his nose, but I changed my project really fast. So I had to use what, I, what was lying around and I did not have that lying around. And uh, I could have used a pom-pom, but none of the pom-poms were really that color. I only had like black and blue and pink and then smaller white ones and stuff. So I didn't want to use a pom-pom, so I found this scrap piece of uh, fabric that's like a kind of like purpley. So I'm using that for a nose. His nose might get changed later on and when I do find something better. But for now, he's gonna have like a oddly shaped purple nose. So for the gnome's hat, I'm using my little guy's sweater. Um, I knew I saved this sweater because I wanted to use it for something crafty. It's not, I didn't really want necessarily wanted it as a keepsake, but I didn't want to incorporate it into something crafty. So I kept this sweater and um, yeah, it's gonna be his hat. For his beard, I'm using some craft fur. I've had this craft fur, fur, fur laying around for probably like six or seven years now. Um, and I haven't seen it in any stores since I bought it. Um, um, I got it from Michael's and yeah, I, I haven't seen anything anywhere since. So I'm pretty happy that I kept it and didn't use it. But uh, now I would definitely like some more. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this guy. I think he's pretty freaking adorable. And uh, even though he can't stand up, he's he's still super cute. I'll find definitely find somewhere to put him and uh, figure out a way to have him standing up. The pumpkin is not the answer though. So there you have it, um, three projects. We have the, the owl planter. It's pretty cute. I like how it turned out. I did some touch-ups I, when I was editing. I saw a few spots that I missed with the gold, so I went over that. We have my stuffed gnome here. He's so adorable. His nose is gonna have to get fixed though. And um, the painting. The painting I spent the most time on and I actually ended up not liking it. But this is the painting. And it smells so delicious and that's probably like the only thing. And his beard. His beard and the smell are like the only things that I actually enjoy about the painting. All right, well, thanks for watching. We will see you next week. Next week, for sure, without changes, unless they don't get here, which they will, is uh, going to be Halloween. So I'm going to decorate, make a custom witch hat and witch broom for my Halloween costume. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Yeah.